Hi everybody, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with Jaspie's 13 box prospects, rookies, and stars baseball mixer. One spot gets you three random teams each. And here are the boxes that we're featuring here. Looks like we got some game use batting gloves in there too. Nice. I'm sure we'll probably, oh yeah, so for the TriStar and Onyx, um, we'll use our like no checklist or non-pro uniform rules or our memorabilia rules like an autographed baseball, doesn't always have a team logo attached to it. So if they're an active player, it'll go to the team they're currently on. And if they're inactive, retired, they'll play for the team they played for the longest. All right. Now, there's also another layer here. We uh, took out a spot, and we're going to give it away to someone here. So everyone has a chance at an extra spot in this break. So it's a separate dice roll. Let's roll it and randomize it 11 times. Six and a five. Name on top after 11. Good luck. Four. There you go. Five. Seven. And 11 the final time. Good luck. Name on top is going to be Matthew. After 11, congrats to you, Matt. You get an extra spot in this one. And I'll put the little rooftop next to your name so you can keep track of what your uh, your winning spot does for you. So now let's put that, paste that in here. Now one spot gets you three teams, so let's triple you up. Two, three. And all 30 baseball teams are in. And let's roll it, let's randomize it. Four and a five, nine times for each list. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. After nine, we've got Trevor down to Ryan. Four and a five, nine times for the teams. Ninth and final time. After nine, we've got the Mets all the way down to the Pirates. Now, trading is allowed. And I'm going to pause the video in just a second to, to allow for a little bit of trades while I grab those boxes. But trade at your own risk. Remember, keep in mind all the different uh, boxes and potential cards and players that you can hit. Trevor with the Mets, Tom with the Red Sox and Rangers, Jeff with the A's and Marlins, Jeremy with the Cubs, Matthew with the Padres and Braves, Ryan, last spot, well, one of your last spot mojo, stars next to your name, Reds, Jeff with the Nats, Jeremy with the Astros, Ryan with the Mariners, Matthew with the Rays and Diamondbacks, Tom with the Yankees, Matthew with the O's, Twins and Tigers, Jeff with the uh, Toronto Blue Jays, Trevor with the Brew Crew, Matt with the Phillies, Jeff with the Rockies, Matt with the Cardinals, Royals, and Indians, Trevor with my Dodgers, Jeremy with the White Sox, Matthew with the Giants, Jeff with the Angels, and Ryan with the Pittsburgh Pirates. Let's alphabetize this by team and let's make this look nice here. For those of you watching live, I will share, just want to make sure it's can view. I'll share that spreadsheet link with you in the chat. I'm going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades, and then we're going to have the break. Stick around. All right, welcome back, folks. I'm back. There were no trades, so that list you saw on that screen remains the same. Thanks, everyone, for getting in. Really appreciate it. Now, we have Diane Bailey, DB, in the house. And she won that in transcendent. I guess we'll start with. Uh, I guess we'll start with select. It's, it's the older, older one here. And there's all 13 boxes hiding back there. There's a Brooklyn box back there. The Onyx gloves are right over here. There's a five star box hiding back there. So I counted the 13. But in transcendent one, Diane got the Lou Gehrig cut auto, one of one cut autograph, which was pretty amazing. The crew and I. And she's in the chat right now. The crew and I. We were discussing it. And the prices seem to be a little all over the place. I think some saw, some people saw cut autos kind of go for as low as like 5,000. And then some cut autos of Lou Gehrig go for like nine, ten thousand dollars 
it's really just going to depend on what the what the market wants at that time. My guess Yeah, Stephen K think thinking 5 to 8,000. What does everyone else think if you want to weigh in on this? But the, the and some cut autos are from yeah, it just really it just really all depends who's looking for a, a, a Lou Gehrig cut auto. McCarthy's seen some listed at 10k. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe. If you're interested in selling it, you can just put like 10k or best offer and see what you're comfortable with. That would be great. But it's a pretty awesome hit. The presentation is is excellent. I, I think that's one thing that it certainly has going for it. The presentation, the way they frame it in that big frame, with a it's a, like a nice classy mat in that frame too. So I think that's uh, I think that's that definitely helps the value. Some collectors may be sticklers about the fact that I think it's it's personalized to someone. I think it's not just his his name. It's I feel like there was if I remember correctly there was someone else's like. Personalized maybe to somebody, so it's not just the auto by itself. But my my, my opinion, yeah, Ryan H also thinking maybe 10k best offer. Uh, yeah, the framing is excellent, right, Steve? I think if you're not in a rush. If you're not in a rush, you can you can definitely uh, definitely you know put it at a shoot for the moon, right? I don't know why not put fifteen thousand as the buy it now, you know, and then and then see what kind of offers you get. And I would just I would just wait until you get an offer that you're comfortable with. I would wait as long as you possibly can. There's Jake Odorizzi to five hundred, rookie autograph for the Rays. That will be for Matthew in the Rays. And Gene Segura is your Signatures Gold Prism. Now, I know that those these are expired and Panini apparently not being a lot more strict on that, on expired redemption, but we're gonna still send it to you, still see what happens. So now where was Gene Segura in 2013? Diamondbacks? Brewers. So that'll go to Trevor with the Brew Crew. Max saying someone has the Babe Ruth cut auto just listed at 99,000. Maybe just, yeah, maybe just trying to show it off. I mean, who knows? I mean, with those cut autos, especially for old school legendary players like that, I mean, you don't know what like monster collector is just going to be like. Screw it, that's you know, I'll pull the trigger on it. There is Jason Grilly, Pittsburgh. That'll go to Ryan Harold, Last Spot Mojo. Oh, Ryan Redman saying Panini is giving points for expired. Okay, that's good. Originally, the the news the news was the news was forget it. You get an expired redemption, Dunzos. You know, like you're not getting anything in return. But maybe there was enough reaction where they they want to give you something. So points. That's not. I'll take I'll take points over nothing. We have some decent stuff in the points in the reward store these days. There's Derek Dietrich to 750. Miami Marlins, Jeff Peace. The point store used to be not so good. <laughs> if you remember, like maybe four or five years back, was was pretty not so good. Nice Ken Griffey Jr. Mariners, Ryan Harold with the M's, nine out of 25. 
Yeah, reward store used to be not so good for Panini, but it's improved significantly since then. I would imagine that's how they would do it, Tyler Brenner. Like if you if if it's like a a bigger name player, you know, then I would imagine that they would give you some more points. I don't know. But Oh wow. Ryan Redman with some with, with an anecdote saying he's he got 5000 points for an expired Zeke rookie auto. Not bad. I take that. Five thousand's a lot. Believe it or not, they, they they have some decent value on a secondary market, especially for something as big as five thousand. Rebels wondering what the four cut auto is going to sell for out of transcendent. Yeah, the Babe Ruth price is crazy, Diane. Yeah, McCarthy's right. Yeah, it's a it's a good problem to have, Diane. That Lou Gehrig. If you're not in a rush to sell it, and I, I would just kind of slow play it and wait for the best offer and not move it too quickly for too low of a price. You're welcome, John. Nice. Yeah, you got a couple things out of there. Not too bad. All right, so this is 2016 Donner's Optic Baseball. Aaron Nola. Steven Piscotti to 199. In the interest of time, I'm just going to breeze by those. And our uh, sorting and shipping team will sleeve and top load those before they're sorted and shipped out. We've got Christopher L. Bryant. It's a little variation there for the Cubbies. That goes to Jeremy. Kenta Maeda to 299, Dodgers edition. And Luis Severino is your autograph. Rated rookie auto. Tom with that one. I guess didn't Severino went down with with uh with Tommy John if I don't if I'm remembering correctly, right? Pretty sure he did. Yeah, what, what's interesting is that in this shortened season, I guess in a way he didn't really miss. He's not going to really miss too much, too much actual baseball times. So two ninety nine. Yeah, one, one of Diane Bailey saying that Lou Gehrig cut from Transcendent, one of one of her best hits next to that Luca rookie auto. We'll save that. I'll put that off to the side. I don't know what I, what what would I do if I Houston Astros George Springer that'll be for Jeremy. I don't know what I'd do. I think I would probably lean selling it, but it, it'd be hard. It'd be difficult. It, It'd be even more. It'd be extra difficult if it was if it was like a Dodger, right? That would be super difficult. The Lou Gehrig would only be regular difficult <laughs> because because I don't think Lou Gehrig is 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 too tied to the. He's a player I feel like a lot of people love, right? He's not just a Yankee. You know, like, I don't know of a lot of people who, is like, who are like, Lou Gehrig, F that guy, you know? <laughs> I 
That's someone, a player you can respect, no matter what team you support. So that's something, cut auto like that, something that everyone can kind of hold, hold on to. So this is 2020 Donruss Baseball. A lot of packs here. Then we'll work through the Heritage and that other Donruss Baseball back there. Then we'll start getting into some of the lighter stuff. Bowman's Best, Diamond Kings, the Hanger Pack, maybe the, the Bowman Chrome HTA. That's just three autos in there. Five Star, Batting Gloves, and then Autograph Baseball at the end right here. Yeah, Tyler, as a Tigers fan, Tyler Brenner as a Tigers fan saying if it was Ty Cobb cut auto, yeah, he's not going to sell that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, if it was a Dodger for me, if it was a cut auto of, of an old Dodger, maybe Jackie, I don't know if Jackie's on the checklist, but Jackie Robinson or Don Drysdale or something like that, that would be pretty huge. player like that all right and we've got Jonathan Herrera or Hernandez that is for the Rangers that's gonna go to Tom in Texas Oh, there is a Jackie Robinson cut I was pulled on Sunday. Let's see, if I if I were the the winner of that, I think that'd be pretty difficult for me to sell. I don't think I would sell it. In fact, I would probably reframe it. I'd frame the frame and put it back into an even nicer frame with glass over it. And that'll just be just be pictures for the an art for the wall. All right, no worries, Diane. I think if you just search for spot, or I think if you just search spot in the search function on our website, you should be able to find the balance owed spot link. If not, I'm sure Nick will email you a uh, will email you um, how to how to pay for that sort of stuff. miss some of like trying to save as many of those guys as possible those rated rookie cards will be sorted out but I just want to try to get ahead of it there you go this could be the if we ever get the baseball season underway it's gonna be weird with the baseball so even a shortened season I think is gonna be weird because the rookies aren't gonna have the same amount of time to really to really get into gear, as they usually might, unless they have a hot start, you know. There's a Cunha Jr. relic. That Bo Bichette, by the way, goes to Jeff Peace. There's Adalberto Mondesi. Classics autograph for the Royals. That'll be for Matthew.
slide these over here and work through this box right here. So yeah, I think this is 2020 Heritage. I think you got to be sharp collecting baseball this year with the, the current pandemic situation and the shortened baseball seasons. So like Bo Bichette may only have what a couple seasons to operate. Gavin Lux, right? For my daughter, only maybe have a couple months to a couple only a couple months or so, two, three months to operate. So if that's the case, you know, you have to start looking at different numbers and whatnot, because maybe they won't sell as big this season. I think they'll still do fine hobby wise, but but they could be even bigger next season. You know, maybe Gavin Lux has a bad month and someone says, screw this guy. I'm just going to sell this guy for super cheap. You know, you could take advantage of situations like that because I think I think that long-term potential success is going to be there. Good stash. Yeah, Diane's thinking maybe that Honus Wagner cut out of Transcendence in the next one we do. And yeah, we do have Transcendent on the side, folks. Doesn't look like we're gonna get to that tonight, but we are we are super close to filling that up. We just handful of mini mini breaks and then uh, and then a handful of spots in the Transcendent itself, and then we're in breaks filled. Matt Vosberg, what's going on? Uh oh, Ryan Harold's hit out of Transcendent was Roberto Almar spitting on Ump Edition. <laughs> It'll be a hard sell for you. Is that Orioles Edition? Where he did that? Or was it Blue Jays Edition? All right, here's 2020. These are all facsimile autographs here. 2020 Heritage. Uh, yeah, if it sells out, we have, we've got time for it. Oh, I thought you just really hated umps, Ryan. McCarthy, you're shocked at how much you're approaching on eBay for your Gavin Lux auto, creeping up to 200 bucks. Yeah, I mean, you know, second base has been a black hole for the for the Dodgers for at least the last handful of seasons. They haven't had a solid second baseman for a long time. They've been switching a lot of players in and out of that spot. So, uh, and big market team. And then looked pretty good in, in some of the, well, he was having a cup of coffee with the Dodgers last year. And, you know, I think he's going to be, I, that almost looked real. So I, th I think he's going to be pretty solid. Drafted out of high school, if I remember correctly. And I think struggled his first year and a half, you know, to the point where everyone's like, bust? <laughs> you know, it wasn't hitting well, had stone hands, which is not what they, and you know, with high school prospects, you know, it could be definitely hit or miss, right? But, but they were like, uh-oh. But then I think once he went to double A, 
in Tulsa, where TJ works, he just really started raking and then really turned a corner and then was near untouchable in any trade conversation. And now he's going to be starting second baseman, which is going to be awesome, I hope. There's Aaron Nola, clubhouse collection, right? There's Hayden saying, go Dodgers. Just got your Matt Kemp jersey signed a week ago. I still like Matt Kemp. I don't know why. He had that... He had that... Cr I wish the injuries didn't... That's what kind of screwed him. You know, he's such a talented guy, but... It was the those injuries that really derailed everything. And maybe Rihanna. But the injuries really de derailed him. And then just lost that speed. And once he lost a bit of that speed, then he wasn't so great in the outfield. Because he wasn't really a plus defender, but... But he did have the, his speed kind of overcame any deficiency he had on defense, and once that once that went, but he could always he could always hit. He's all, all the, Kemp always a fan favorite though. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why he's with the Mar. I, I thought like this is 2019 Donners, by the way. I thought I was I thought for sure that he would go to an uh, that he would go to an AL team where he can just DH because he's kind of a liability in the field nowadays. But I feel like if he's not running around in the outfield, potentially banging himself up, I thought he would be he could be he could still swing the bat. But no AL team seems to be taking him, which is odd. Well, my college knowledge, not too strong, Matt Vosberg, but I've been hearing in the chat a lot of people liking J.K. Dobbins. Oh, you got a prism out of 10 in a break last night? Something we got you? No, I don't remember a J.K. Dobbins. Maybe we did. I don't know. It all blurs together. Yeah, I'm glad he got that all-star to all-star nod to in 2018 turning back the clock for like two thirds of the season oh I forgot about this I'll do that in a second I don't have enough room uh, we'll see alright good luck everybody onwards so all those pink cards, those pink parallels, will ship because they are considered they're not they're not veteran commons. Do uh, do need baseball though this season, ladies and gentlemen. I hope they figure it out. I'm pretty down with I'm pretty down with all of the uh, I'm pretty down with all of the ideas. There's Reese McGuire. Was Reese McGuire the one that got caught doing that thing in the parking lot? Toronto Blue Jays. That goes to Jeff Peace. So I like pretty much all the – like whatever wacky idea they want to do, I'm down with. Except except the weird division mixing of teams and stuff like that. I know geographically it may be easier, but I don't know. I can't handle that. It, then it's just spring training. You may as well just sack the season then. Cancel the entire season. Oh, nice. Bo Bichette. Facsimile autograph, but nice Boba Shed box topper card out of that heritage box. Blue Jays, Jeff Peace. Alright, 
let's do this uh, this hanger box. Um, as for, I like Dustin May, by the way, Hayden. I think he's pretty solid. He may need another. Well, he was. He didn't even throw a pitch in spring training. <laughs> so, or off the mound anyway. So he was bat battling with some injuries. So hopefully he's kind of over that hump right now while everyone's been pretty much quarantined. I don't know if he'll make the road. I think he needs a little more marinating, but he's. But I like his stuff. Kind of crazy to think that Dodgers fans have to start thinking of life without Clayton Kershaw. Big rookies out of this out of this hanger box right there, but there you go. All right, let's do this. Remember that uh, that football mixer we're giving away. What are we giving away again? What did I say? It's on the show notes. Two hundred dollars of break credit in that break tonight only. Doesn't necessarily have to break tonight. It just has to fill tonight. But I'd like to fill it and break it because I don't think anything else is sold out after this. I got to do choice number two. Impeccable is sold out, but we need to do a couple cello packs. I mean, I think that football mixers are best bet. The 10 box post draft NFL mixer, three spots left with $200 break credit giveaway. And that'll probably be the last break of the night. I think that'll take, well, maybe not. Maybe we can do a very short break afterwards. But it'll be it'll pretty much take us pretty close to the end of the night. Now my screen's oh now it says one. All right, so yeah, looks like that is going to be the next break. So let's lock that in to the schedule. Double checking that nothing else sold out. No. Okay. Nice. All right, so in the schedule right now, we should be finishing this break up in the next 20, 30 minutes or so. Then we'll do a quick box break of choice, and then we will get into that 10-box mixer, which should bring us pretty close to the end of the night. We may have a time for a quick one-box break or so, so after that, but that's about it. Out of 25, Brian Dozier. Dual relic and autograph for the Twins. That'll be for Matthew. Mark Trumbo, frame. Chris Sale, dual relic to 49. 
Still White Sox edition here, Jeremy. This is 2017 Diamond Kings. Billy Herman, Roberto Clemente. Daniel Murphy. I'm assuming those are turned around because they're variations, so I've set them aside. Ryan Braun, Frame. Alex Reyes. Madison Bumgarner, Ben Intendi, Mookie Betts, 70 out of 99. <laughs> Crazy to think that Dodgers are only going to get like a few months of Mookie Betts. <laughs> Potentially zero months of Mookie Betts. Jason O, no, Impeccable is not sold out yet. Still have a couple of those cell pack breaks too. Matthew Gritter. Yeah, Mosaic we did ages ago. Those Are those videos not uploaded? Can everyone see the Mosaic videos? Maybe they're not showing up for some reason because Matthew's the second or third person who asked. Someone click that link right there just to test and scroll down and see if you see those Mosaic videos. That makes me nervous. <laughs> So someone could double check for me. I can't do it if I'm signed in to my R account because then it might just show up and because we're the video owners. Hmm. Joe and Ryan don't see them. Interesting. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm? No, Matthew says they're there. So two people say they don't. Steve says he does. Ryan says he's an idiot. All right, so mixed reviews. <laughs> Oh, maybe the, the, the hanger thing confused people? Okay. So maybe I should shorten that so Mosaic shows up a little bit. All right, so maybe it's me. All right, so maybe I'll, I'll, maybe I'll change the title of that later tonight. Okay, next box, if I remember. All right, Jake Bauer is your autograph. Bowers is your autograph. Rookie auto for the tribe. That'll be for Matthew. Brett Beatty to 150. And... We got Zach Thompson, autograph for the Cardinals. That's going to be for Matthew. That's the extra spot that he won in this break. There you go. Paying off. Nice Eloy Jimenez. And Dean Kramer. Die cut autograph, nice. Five out of one fifty. That's pretty cool. Orioles, that goes that also goes to Matthew.
Nice Vlad Guerrero Jr. Atomic. And Luis Gill for the Yankees. That's another auto for Tom. Vlad Guerrero, Jeff Peace got randomized the Blue Jays. All right, we're getting there, folks. We're getting there. We're not. Now we're here to the good stuff here. We'll do that. We'll do that, that, that. Batting gloves and autographed baseball. Nice. Uh, yes, DFS. A, Impeccable's not sold out yet, and B, we're just out of time. Um, no, she was not in our shop today. She was in the chat. DB is Diane Bailey. She was in the chat earlier talking about the Lou Gehrig. I think we're FedExing it to her. There's a thick card on the bottom there. What's going on? What's up? Let's go. We got Wenseel Perez. Oh, that's the wrong penny sleeve. There we go. For the Tigers, that's going to go to Matthew. The Leonardo Jimenez Blue Jays goes to Jeff Peace. Of the Bluebirds. And we've got a Jersey and Auto. Suli Matthias. One, 109, that is, out of 150. Jersey and Autograph, nice. Game used, it says right there, for the Royals. Hydrate those vocal cords. Royals, Matthew. So let's go to five star really quick. Oh, nice. Nick Jaspi saying that Inception sold out. So that slots into the last break of the night spot. Sweet. We might end up going a tiny bit over, but but that's all right. So it looks like that'll be the last break of the night. It looks like it's on pace to sell. Oh, a cut auto. We got Andrew Tolls. Andrew Tolls, interesting story about him. Was literally bagging groceries, I think, and then ended up with the Dodgers. Played great. And then I think he struggles with some anxiety issues or something like that and kind of excused himself from camp last year. Never really returned. Hopefully he's doing okay. One of one. Cut autograph. I'm not sure who this player or person is, but best wishes from Ray Schalk. An old Chicago White Sox catcher. Oh, that sounds familiar, actually. That goes to Jeremy Monahan. Let's let let's look up old Ray Schalk, who passed away in 1970. Played for the White Sox from 1912 to 1928. Really old school, right there. Hall of Fame, Veterans Committee Hall of Fame, in uh, 1955. Oh, this was the, oh no, this was the, this is the 1917 World Series winning 
White Sox. There you go. The 1919 White Sox team was the uh, Scandal team. He was two years before Scandal. There you go. Nice one for the White Sox. That's uh, Jeremy once again. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. It's pretty nice. There you go. It's a little bit, a little bit of history there, Jeremy. Right, there's Brooklyn collection. Got a base card on top, Sandy Koufax for the Dodgers. Shohei Otani for the Angels. Dodgers is Trevor, Angels is Jeff. Juan Soto, Nationals, Jeff Peace. Mookie Betts. Now we're getting some numbers here, 4 out of 75. Red Sox, Tom. And another one of one. Wow. Wow. Ooh, look at that. Look at this. What a box. One of one, Roberto Clemente, Ryan Harold, and the Pirates. Can everyone identify the autograph in that little blurry spot there? One of one, Ryan and the Pirates. All aboard. Woo -woo. Now everyone should be able to see it. It's Derek Jeter, and it's one out of five. Wow. Yep, Kevin's got it. Tom. Tom Ehrenstad. Got randomized the Yankees in this break and gets the one out of five Derek Jeter. That is awesome. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. <laughs> that is great. What a break. And then nice, we got Philly's edition of, of Andrew McCutcheon right here too. It's 4, 54 out of 75. Kutch going to Matthew. That was one of his teams he won. Nice. All right, now let's go uh, batting glove. Yeah, that is a great looking Jeter card, Jack, that's for sure. I wonder if, I hope they put the names of the players on here, otherwise it might be hard to figure out. How does this work here? Aha. Quick round of who am I? 26-year-old second baseman shortstop, active, a righty, lifetime 293, 12 home runs, 70 runs batted in, played for the same team since 2018. I feel like he's kind of an up-and-comer right here. We've seen him in a lot of breaks. 
Number 27 for the Pirates. And played college baseball for the Arizona Wildcats. First rounder in the 2015 MLB draft. Who am I? Everyone's favorite game. America's favorite game. The game that's been sweeping the nation. Not Acuna, not Glaber. Not Ozzy. Not Mullins. There you go, Ryan Harold. Yep, I think everyone gets it now. Pirates, yep. Jack B., Ryan Harold's got it. Kevin Newman. That's pretty cool. Game used batting gloves. That's awesome. All right, so Pirates, that'll go to Ryan Harold. Nice. Is there an auto? Yeah, the auto was on the uh, on the right side of the the glove. Don't want to show you that. All right, who am I? I am a 22-year-old Diamondbacks prospect. Let's see. Did uh, was in single A last year in the Diamondbacks organization. Five home runs, 28 RBIs, over 55 games. 318 average. Pretty solid. One of the probably a top 50 prospect in the Diamondbacks organization according to fan graphs. No, maybe higher. Number 20, organizational prospect. Just a few, a handful of spots ahead of Pavin. A few spots below Seth Beer and Blaze Alexander. Not as high as Christian Robinson or Dalton Varsho. But 20th overall, according to fan graphs. Might be a little bit of, a bit of a tougher one. But good guesses, though. Not Guzman, not Seth Beer, not Pavin. Not Corbin Carroll. It's uh, Dominic Fletcher. And he autographed right there. That's pretty cool. This side as well. Was he in the Mets organization at one point, or am I thinking of some other Dominic? So that goes to Matthew. Ah, Dominic Smith is Mets. Thinking of a different Dominic. All right, a couple more, then the baseball, then the 10-box football mixer, and then a quick inception break to close out the night, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. All right, who do we have here? This guy. All right.
All right, looks like another prospect. Prospect for the Royals. Think Royals prospects. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll add, allow ads, Kansas City Star. Apparently he's, no, apparently he's one, one phone call away, apparently, according to the Kansas City Star, I think, from getting called up. 26-year-old from Junction City, Kansas, played for the Royals AA and AAA affiliates in 2019. In the past season, uh, made a name for himself in the major minor leagues by channeling the spirit of past Royals and running wild, apparently. Outfielder, lefty, on the 40-man. Uh, yes, actually. Good call, Ryan Harold. Ryan Harold knows his baseball. Yeah, it's Nick Heath. There you go. He's, he uses Franklin gloves here. There's his autograph up there. So he decided to go on that point, that part there. Nice, there you go. Royals prospect, Matthew S. again. All right, and one more round of Who Am I? Gary Harting says, Nick Heath from your hometown. There he is. All right, TriStar Autograph Baseball. Again, we'll go to the team that they're currently on. If they're active or the team they played for the longest, if this is a retired player. TriStar usually gives us, yeah, a little game show card here. All right, who am I? Hall of Famer in 1998, part of the 300 win and 3000 K club. Played in four World Series, four-time All-Star, and a 1977 All-Star MVP. 1976 Lou Gehrig Award winner, 1980 league leader in ERA, 13-time top 10 in strikeouts, seven-time top 10 in wins. It's pretty good. I think he did TV for uh, after his playing days. I think he did TV for the, uh, for whatchamacallit, for the Braves, if I'm not mistaken. Played for a season with the A's, two seasons with the with Houston, three seasons with the Milwaukee, and three seasons with the California Angels, but played 16 seasons with... Don, which Don? Ray and Ryan Harold. I think you guys are on the right track, though. Yeah, Chris Gill's got it. There's two big Dons for the Dodgers back in the day. This one is Don Sutton. Nice. I played for 16 seasons with my Dodgers. Is this tied up here a little bit? Oh, there we go. There it is. There's Don Sutton's autograph. There's the TriStar sticker right there. Any other stickers right here we have to look at? No. Nice. All right. So there you go. So that goes to my Dodgers, Trevor Hardway, with the boys in blue. Thanks for watching, Trevor. Thanks for breaking everybody. Joe for JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next break. Great mixer.